All right, what's going on YouTube? It's Lieutenant Cade, also known as Alvin the Director, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about the standing power throw in the ACFT. If you're new to this channel, I post military videos, fitness videos, and lifestyle videos on this channel. I'm a lieutenant stationed up here at Fort Wainwright, Alaska, and if you're new to this channel, again, hit that subscribe button, share these videos with a friend if you're into that kind of stuff, and let's go ahead and get into the video. So, today I wanna to talk to you about the standing power throw. On the last video, I talked about the three rep maximum deadlift, and how you can best prep for that event in the ACFT. The standing power throw is the next event, and in my opinion, it is placed tr tr strategically in the uh, list of events or order of events. Um, and it gives you a good chance to, you know, kind of rest and recover, especially if you just did a, a heavy deadlift, right? So it gives your body a chance to kind of recover, and the only thing you're doing is throwing a medicine ball behind you. For the standard, for the standing power throw, you'll be using a 10 pound medicine ball nine inches in diameter, similar to a ball like this, right? And the purpose of this is to test your balance and your coordination. Now, I wouldn't say there's a lot of technical significance behind that, but it's just, you know, being an athlete, right? So when you're in the Army, you're a soldier athlete. So you have to have some kind of coordination, some kind of balance, and, you know, this event does just that. To start off the event, you have two attempts to complete the standing power throw, and you want to maximize the amount of distance that you can throw the medicine ball behind you, all right? so. Whenever you're getting set, um, what I like to do is take a couple of, you know, test attempts. I'm going to demonstrate that as well. And it's just getting that good hip movement, making sure that your arms are also flowing with um, your hips and you're exploding up. And with the standing power throw, it's kind of some math and kind of some science involved in the exercise. So you want to make sure that you throw the ball, um, you know, fairly high. But you also want to make sure that you get some distance behind your throw. So you don't want to throw the ball just straight up in the air. And you also don't want to throw the ball just straight behind you. I've seen people throw the ball or try to throw the ball straight behind them. And it literally landed, you know, a couple inches behind them just because they didn't have that, um, that coordination to accurately throw the ball um, with distance and with height. So it takes a little bit of math. So you want to get some practice in. Most units have some kind of medicine ball or local gyms, they also have medicine balls that you can use to um, practice. You don't actually have to know how far you're throwing it. You really just want to get comfortable with that movement. Now, let's talk about what you do if you don't have a medicine ball at your disposal, like for PT or whatever. So it doesn't take that long to um, work on the movement for the standing power throw. You can use kettlebells, you can use um, uh, water jug, you can use um, dumbbells, and the only thing you have to do is just focus on, you know, just using that um, explosiveness and focusing on that coordination that you'll be using in the standing power throw, as well as just making sure that whenever you do explode, that your feet don't step back and cross that line. Now, during the event, you will have um, a grader. They'll be watching the line. I don't know if they're actually going to be using particular markers for the ACFT, we did. Um, however, again, you just want to make sure that your feet don't cross that line wherever that line is. Now, you can't take like a running start. Um, you are authorized to jump in the air. To me, you're going to lose some explosiveness. Um, you're not going to throw the ball as far if you jump in the air, but if that works for you, it works for you. Um, also, another thing that I like to do during the actual event is for my first attempt, since I have two attempts, um, I like to just throw the ball, you know, just at a comfortable distance, right? I don't too much care about throwing it as far as I can because I don't want the ball to veer all to the right or to the left. I just want to get comfortable with my score. I have two attempts and once I know um, I get that, you know, successful first attempt, um, whatever my furthest attempt um, that I score on the actual ACFT is the one that's going to be counted. So, you know, I just like to get a comfortable score. So my second attempt, that's when I actually just like to, you know, go, you know, full throttle and just throw that thing as far as I can, you know, try to max this guy out. And, you know, that's just what works for me. So you're going to find out whenever you start practicing for the ACFT or doing your diag. You know, with that being said, those are just some things that I like to use for prepping for the ACFT. And then, again, just a lot of kettlebell swings. So during my PT plans, I like to make sure that my soldiers are doing some kind of kettlebell swings. I've seen how that, you know, translated to them doing a lot better on their ACFT. We've conducted um, about eight um, ACFTs up to this point. So, you know, I've seen, you know, a good bit of them since on the beginning of, 
you know, October. And, you know, there's going to be a lot more that we have planned over the next, you know, couple of weeks, um, you know, leading up to holiday block leave. And, you know, I'm just really excited to see, you know, my soldiers' progressions and, you know, things like that. I'm also going to post uh, in the description below the standards for the power throw. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also share this with a friend. And again, I'm going to be posting on the next series of videos on the ACFT and the events in them and how you can best prep for that. With that being said, I'm Alvin, the director, and I'm out. Um, doing this, like, tutorials and whatnot, you get tired, like, really tired. Chasing these balls, our medicine balls down um, this little field. After several reps of trying to get, you know, good content on this on this channel, it's it's a workout. I still got to do my workout for the day. It's Sunday, right? But, you know, I still try to try to knock something out, some kind of active recovery on Sundays. But, I don't know. After after this tutorial and like running back and forth with this medicine ball, doing the kettlebell swings and all that, and then finding out that I had to redo the entire video because it wasn't recording, hey, I get tired.